feel like the best excuse coming to Budapest this time of year is all the food markets. There are so many places to eat. All oh, this is so nice, especially here in the winter. This is fun. We've always wanted to do a Danube River cruise here in Budapest. Hey guys and welcome to our final episode in our winter series. Next time you see us, I think we're gonna be in somewhere tropical, but we're ending it all here in Budapest in Hungary. And winter has definitely hit Hungary. So we're currently walking on a 19th century fortress and I feel like if you come to Budapest, this is the number one thing to go see. You have amazing views of the Danube and of the Hungarian parliament and it is so beautiful. So just here in the courtyard of the bastion right in front of Matthias's church and it's just so beautiful how so cool. well kept this area is. And at this time of year there's like these little wooden huts selling mulled wine and hot chocolate. It's just like such a cool vibe this time of year. Up here you get such a nice viewpoint. You got Budapest Parliament House there which is probably one of the most incredibly designed buildings in all of Europe. You just have a look at it. We are going to do a Danube cruise later today for sunset if we get one. But just from here, if you aren't going to do one, you get still amazing views. And then if you look at the city, you've got the beautiful orange rooftops. You can see the different drawbridges where you can walk across. It's a really good spot to come if you're coming to Budapest. <laughs> St. Stephen's Basilica and people say that this is one of the most beautiful buildings in all of Budapest. It was built in 1905 and it really is so so stunning. Also it's a little bit chilly outside so it's nice to use the church to warm up a little bit. Yeah if you're trying to find a spot to run away from the rain I think this is a good spot. Good. Mm -hmm. Come into this little like hole in the wall soup kind of kitchen. They have two soups today. We've gone for a tomato soup to warm us up. Get they a do like sandwich. really affordable soup and sandwich specials. Mm -hmm. so if you're looking for like a cheap place for lunch, I think this place is alright. So one activity on the entire trip that Jess is going to have to sit out is we've come out to the famous spa, the thermal spas here in Budapest. And it was crazy because about two years ago we came here in February and a beast from the east they called it. So a snowstorm from Russia came across and it was so cold. Oh my goodness, <laughs> whose idea was this? <gasps> wow. <laughs> so it's so interesting being here and it's not been freezing and snowing. Ah, oh, this is the spa. I love it because it's in this beautiful yellow historical building. And then you've got the main kind of spa here, a lap pool, another spa over there. It kind of just feels like how they would go to their thermal spas back in the day. Oh, that's nice. Come out with dad. Oh, and come out with mom. Hello, this is gorgeous. Yeah, this is lovely. All right, jump in the lap pool. Uh, here we go. There goes dad. This is so nice. Oh, especially here in winter. Crazy to think the last time we were here with Jess. It was snowing outside and it was we had to run across snow to get in. Alrighty, we finally met back up with Jessie. Couldn't leave her at home while we went ahead of all the fun. And I've dragged them all to Christmas markets again. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the best excuse coming to Budapest this time of year is all the food markets. There are so many places to eat all outside the city and we have found the famous langosh. It's like a fried dough bread and when we came to Budapest last time I think this was our favourite meal so had to get it again. <laughs> We've very, very healthy, uh, healthy lunch. Oh yeah. That thing is massive. <laughs> Yum. And it's your first time your parents are going to try Hungarian goulash from Hungary. Absolutely. Yeah. What do you Look think, Dad? This. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> I know we had fried bread for lunch, but 
we can never resist a chimney cake and look at this one. And it's filled with chocolate ice cream. With cream, chocolate with sprinkles, cream. everything. Yeah, it's basically the works. Have you ever had a chimney cake before? It's basically this dough and they cook it kind of like in a cylinder on the fire and they fill it with whatever you want. And um, I think ice cream and cream is a good choice. Take a big bite. <laughs> It's good. That's good green. Wait, I need to get some of the chimney cake, Granny. This is a messy situation. It's, you got a little <laughs> bit on your nose. <laughs> this is mine now. It's like hanging spices and it smells so Christmassy. Wow. It smells like mulled wine, cinnamon, and everything mixed in. This is fun. We've always wanted to do a Danube River cruise here in Budapest, and we're finally doing one. So we're actually doing a cocktail cruise. So we're all going to be having cocktails and mulled wine, and we've done it during like sunset time. So hopefully, we're now going to see the city light up while we're sailing along the Danube. Falling in will blur the lines. Drown the fear of blooms and tide. The sun has just set. Our cruise is starting. We're coming across Parliament House. And honestly, if you come to Europe and you like architecture, this is one of the most beautiful buildings you can ever see. Just look at the way they've lit it up. The design is so grand. And seeing it from the Danube is one of the best ways to see it because you can get so nice and close to it. All right. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, it's, been so cool. it's been so good. You guys it's enjoyed good, your trip? Good. Wonderful. Final winter video. <laughs> and it's quite cool because here on the cruise ship they serve mulled wine only during this time of year. Have you had a sip steak? I haven't. Gotta try it. Mulled wine because you haven't had any in Hungary yet. Mm. Oh, gosh, <laughs> every time it like goes down. <laughs> That's nice though. It's very nice. <laughs> Definitely like warms you up. So you can break my body, but you can't. This is honestly break such a nice way to end this whole trip. Just a relaxing hour and a half cruise. Just going down the Danube. So we're just having a night in. Jess has chucked the pizzas in the oven. And I thought I'd show you guys where we're staying. We have like a two bedroom Airbnb here in the city. And because we're having an idea and we're watching one of our favorite Christmas movies, Christmas with the Cranks, which is a classic Tim Allen movie. And this is where we're going to spend for the rest of the night. Hey, Ha <laughs> <laughs>